Hello everyone, thank you for coming and watching this video session. So this is the 23rd of March and this is Tuesday. So today I would like to talk about JPY pairs. JPY pairs meaning Euro JPY, Pound JPY, uh, Dado JPY, and uh, OZ JPY, and Swiss Franc JPY. So these are the JPY pairs and uh, it's been retracing. It's been retracing backwards in the daily chart and forward chart retracing. So I will talk about uh, these JPY pairs and which one I focus to look for the trading edges. So here we go, let's start it. So my name is K, like it says, my name is K, and uh, I am a Forex full time trader in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Right now I'm in Dubai to get the visa and Emirates ID, and I'm getting it soon uh, because I already did the uh, medical check today. And tomorrow uh, I will do the fingerprinting and soon I will get the visa stamp and Emirates ID. So after this I will come back to Japan and get everything ready and move to Dubai. So, uh, but originally I'm uh, from Japan and I use Ichimoku for my main strategy. So um, just a quick disclaimer before starting anything here. Uh, this information is basically based on my own ex experience and understanding. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. Okay, so let's see. It looks like my face is kind of dark today, sorry. I think the outside is too bright. So I have all the lights inside, but it looks like my face is a bit too dark. So please allow me for that. Um, all right, so let's check some uh, JPY pairs. So first, I will talk about the Euro JP. I checked the daily chart and daily chart is uptrending. I did daily chart is uptrending because the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, and Chikou Span is technically above the candles. So in daily chart, this is uptrending. So I, the market might be supported by this Kijun Sen and it goes up this way. However, if you look at the 4 hour chart, it's going opposite direction. In 4 hour chart, you have Kumo down and also Kijun Sen pointing down and Chikou span below the candles. So this is bearish in 4 hour chart. We had the uh, this um, double top or hedge others. And now it's this is in the reverse in the wave. So it might go down. So there's a Kijun Sen in daily chart over here. And so it might go down or up. We don't know which way it's going. But for the next couple hours, you might know the new trend, new direction. So if that happens, I will just follow that direction. Meaning if the market breaks the previous support line at the uh, 128.92, then I will look for the sell chance in lower time frames. But if it continues to go up, then I will expect the market to come above the Kumo, above uh, the Kumo will twist bullish, and the market will come above the Kumo, and Kijun Sen should be above the Kumo, and Chikou Span should also be above the candles and I will look for the buy chance if that happens but right now it's in between or this is more to the short short side so I expect the market to go down breaks the support and then look for the sell chance that will be an euro JPY and moving on to USD US dollar JPY this is hold on let me check the daily chart and on the daily chart on uh, USD JPY, uh, this is uptrending also. We have Kumo up and Kijun Sen up, Chikou Span above the candles, and in the daily chart, this is ranging. It's ranging, retracing backwards. And But if I look at the 4 hour chart, this one too, this is bearish, broke the Kumo downwards, and we have a very tiny Kumo twist. But because of, this is a very tiny Kumo here, uh, this retracement, this Kumo breakout might become fake, and it might go up also. So in this particular uh, currency pair, USDJPY, I will wait for the Kumo to be longer and thicker, and Kijun Sen uh, is pointing down, but Kijun Sen should come out outside of the Kumo, and the price will fall down continuously, and Chikou Span um, will be in the Kumo. And if that's the case, that will be a sell chance for me. I will look for a sell chance in lower time frames. it happens. But if the market continues to go up, then once again, the price should come above the Kumo and the Kumo should be twisted bullish. Kumo should go bullish like this, twist it bullish, and then uh, Kijun Sen have to be above the Kumo 
and Chikol Spun has to be above the candles, then I will look for the buy chance if it happens. So, um, so the market has been retracing re recently, uh, especially uh, today, uh, yesterday and today it's been retracing. So uh, there's no trading opportunities for me. So I think this is where I have to be patient and look for the next new trend. So that's uh, dollar JPY and pound JPY uh, daily chart. Yep, pound JPY daily chart is also uptrending. We have the Kumo's up, or Kumo's more of the flat side. I see the Senko Span B's flat, A's flat, and Kijun Sen, hold on, Kijun Sen is upwards. Yeah, Kijun Sen is upwards, but Tenkan Sen is downwards. So this is the versions between Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So the market is retracing huge now. And with that in mind, I look at the 4 hour chart. And 4 hour chart looks a good downtrend. We have the Kumo down, and Kijun Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles below Kumo. So this particular pair, Pound JPY, is a strong downtrend at the moment, so it can continue to go down. Um, let me find the previous support. So the previous support level, we have it here, from the 5th of March. Uh, at the 149.38 was the previous support, and also second previous was here. From this uh, 3rd of March, there was another support, 149.02, and all the way down, there is another third support, which is 148.11. So um, the price might retrace. The price might retrace or consolidate in between 149.38 and 149.02 because the Kumo is very thin. When you see this kind of a very thin Kumo, this is an oversold signal, so the price might consolidate at the next support level. It might be tries might consolidate, and that will make the Kumo thicker, So that because the Senko Span B will go flat when it happens, but Senko Span A continues to go down, and that will make the Kumo thicker, and once the market breaks, it can continue to go down to the next target, which is 148.11. So I would, to make the long, st long story short, I would wait for the price to break the support of uh, 149.02 and look for the sell chance afterwards. That is my scenario on this pound JPY. And then um, OZ JPY. This one is also a very nice downtrend in forward chart. But before that, let me look at the daily chart. Okay, on the daily chart, uh, OZJPY, it's flat. It became range. The price is now below the Kijun Sen and the Kumo flat. Senko Span A retracing backwards and Chikou Span is getting closer to the candles. So in the daily chart, this is flat and now it's in the range mode. And if you see the 4 hour chart, this is downtrending. But once again, the Kumo is a bit thin like this. So for the market to be stable downtrend and stable bearish in a wave, the Kumo should be thicker. So I think the market needs to consolidate a bit more and to make the Kumo thicker. And once it breaks, it can be a continuous downtrend. I think this is at the moment a bit overshooting. So uh, uh, the price might be supported at the previous support at around um, um, 82.82 or the sinking support was over here it was um, 81.96 so I think before reaching to 81.96 the price might be uh, consolidating or ranging or supported at this 82.82 uh, .82 level it might go down and it might consolidate for a while and that will make the Kumo thicker like this and it may continue to go down to the next next target, which is 81.96 level. So that is my analysis on this one, um, OZ JPY. And looking at the CAD JPY, uh, CAD JPY daily chart, uh, this is uptrending. So and the price is still above the Kijun Sen, Kumo up, Kijun Sen up. Chikou Span, see above the candles, so this is bullish for me. 
in a daily chart. So although we have forward chart downtrend, this might become fake. I mean, the, this uh, there is tiny tiny kumo here, and price is breaking the kumo here, but this might become fake, and it might go up or range afterwards because daily chart still shows this is a strong Buddhist trend. And finally, just touching on this Swiss franc JPY, this has been ranging in the daily chart, so there is nothing really to talk about. So among these JPY pairs, the ones that I focus today is pound JPY, which is a, uh, in, in the daily chart, it's flat now, it's flat now, and in four, this is downtrending. So I will expect the market to break this 149.02 and look for the sell chance afterwards. That's one. And also, um, I will keep an eye on the OZJPY because the, the daily chart is also flat. You see the Kumo flat. Sorry. Um, let me squeeze the chart. The Kumo flat and Kijun Sen is up, but the Kumo flat and Chikou Span is going backwards to the candles. And with that in mind, I see forward chart to be downtrending. We have the Kumo twist already and Kumo sloping down. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are also down, Chikou Span below the candles and almost breaking the Kumo here. So this is also stable downtrend in four. So this can go down continuously. It might be supported once again at this 82.822 level or consolidate but once it breaks, it can go down. So, Pound JPY and Aussie JPY are the two pairs that I watch today because I see these two pairs are strong downtrend. So that is my analysis for today and we might see some new trends, new setups for this week, so we have to watch out. But no matter how ranging, how retracing the market looks like, uh, we have to follow the trend direction then you should be fine by Ichimoku. So hopefully you learn how to take trades by following the trend direction by Ichimoku and that is my wish to help you become a non-losing trader as it states here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button before you leave and I will see you in the next one. So stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.